Hi there, I'm Lisa and today I'm designing for Coco Daisy. I'm doing a traditional 12 by 12 scrapbook page. It feels a while since I've done one of these. Um, I've got the April kit in front of me here. I've got some watercolours, I've got some stamping, I've got the papers and um, I'm really looking forward to just having a bit of a play. I'm going to start off with doing some watercolour. Um, just to give it a chance to dry to be honest with you for, um, then I can continue with the page I have laid out kind of how I'm thinking this page is going to go the circles remind me of Disney the whole polka dot thing so I'm doing a Disney page surprise surprise because I seem to do these quite a lot um, I've got the pink I've got the yellow which I love I've got this um, project lifestyle type card and I've got this journal card today. I am excited about everything and I think that just about sums us up when we were on one of our Disney trips. We took this photo here. We became pass holders, annual pass holders last year for the first time and obviously we were really excited. So I think these two go really well together. It's really difficult to get a picture of us all in front of the sign. We tried so many days. Um, you get to go through a different entrance when you're a pass holder and nine times out of ten there is a less queue. So that was exciting in itself to be honest with you. Um, but I haven't actually scrapbooked one of these photos so I thought I would do that today. And I've got some vellum over the top. Now I'm going to end up stamping on the vellum. I quite like that effect so I'm going to do that. But first of all I want to get some watercolours on this watercolour paper and pop that underneath. In my head it sounds wonderful but we'll see how it is in reality. Sometimes you've got to try these things. I do actually like that as it is but I really want to play with watercolours so I'm going to give it a go. If I don't like it, as I always tell people, it's only paper. If you don't like it, it can go in the bin. So. I'm a true believer in just doing what feels good so I am just going to go on here and just add some really pretty colours. I love these watercolours so much. I'm going to link up to them so you can see them. Um, I did actually do a video on them when I received them because I just, they are so lovely. They don't feel like normal watercolours or any other watercolours that I've always had. They, um, they've just got a real, I don't know, just such a thick feel to them. They're so nice. I love the way the colours blend. No, I'm very, very happy with these. Now, I do want a pink, and I don't have a pink. Um, I'm very good at messing up my colours. Let's have a little bit there. Oh, a little bit of a pink. It's a bit bright for a pink, isn't it? And I'm just going to play with the colours, and this is then going to be my background. That's too bright. Although it does bleed really nicely. Let's get some green in there. There's just something so happy about playing with watercolours. It's not even just the colour, it's just the feel as well. It's so much fun. I'm going to leave this to dry and carry on with the scrapbook page. I generally like to have a bit of a frame around my pages. Um, usually it's a white inside the colour but I'm going to go the other way around and actually have the white as my frame today. I'm going to trim off the edges and I'm going to take a good inch off each side to create a white frame around the artwork. You know, Now I'm looking at my watercolours with the rest of my papers. I really don't like them and as I said if you don't like it you can just do it again and that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to go with some stripes actually because I'm doing the circular stamping. I think this will look much nicer. I've got a lot of pink on the page so actually I'm going to steer away from the pink and keep it at these colours and we'll see how this light looks. I'm not going to bend the other page that I've done um, because I may well use it on something else but for now this is what I'm wanting to do. So we're going to leave this and see how that looks when it's dry and see if I like this a bit more. So I've cut this down. I am sad though because I really like that side too. I hate it when that happens. This is my absolute favourite colour. But I love the dots so the polka dots win today. So 
So I'm going to stick that on as central as I possibly can. This needs to go over the top. Um, do I want that? Just deciding, do I want any of the yellow showing? Um, yes, I do. I'm going to trim this down. So let's trim that off there. So I've got the pink in place as well. I had stuck these down, but then remembered I need to put my watercolours and my stamped sheet down as well. So I was a bit ahead of myself. So I've got my watercolours dried. The paper is a little bit bumpy. So that's kind of just placed on there at the moment. But um, it's still a bit damp, so I don't want to press on it too hard. Now I want to work on the vellum that's going over the top. I'm going to trim this down slightly. Um, it's obviously nice and frosty, so you'll be able to see the watercolours through. And I'm going to do some of these fun circles over the top. So the idea being that you can still see the watercolours through. The stamp on the acrylic block, and I'm just pressing into that nicely. And I'm going to do a fresh ink each time I use it. And I'm just going to press it down. I'm wondering, do I want to use the other ones? I do quite like them. Let's give them a go. I haven't tried the other ones yet. I quite like the scribbled one and I'm going to use some of the smaller ones as well. So I've got one that's like a scribble. Sometimes when it's a new stamp you have to press it in a few times. Let's try this one down here. That's quite cool. Try that one at the top there and over here. If I don't like it I can just do another one. I'll see how this looks first. I'm going to do some of the smaller circles as well. hidden Mickey. That's what we were missing. Let's do another one over here. There we go. And another one. There we go. We need hidden Mickeys on our Mickey Mouse layout, don't we? There, that's cute. So like I said, if there's too many and I don't like it, I'll simply do another one. I never get stressed about doing this kind of thing yeah I think that's too many I'm not keen on that um, it's fun to practice but I'll keep these because I could always cut them out and use them on a different project I never like to waste anything so now that I've had this practice I know I'm going to keep it simple I'm going to use this for a little journaling and I want to keep the bottom space here clear for the photo I don't want any stamping near the photo and I'm going to I do like the hidden mickeys though and I'm going to continue with that. I might just do it at those. Let's see. Let's place it all down and see. Might add a half a circle on there. In order to do the half circle, I'm going to press over onto the old vellum so that work that so this is the new one and there I've got my half circle I might actually do another one at the top yeah quite like that and another one down there so let's see how that looks yeah I think I'm happy with that I need to work on pressing this down so it's flat page is really coming together now I've got the watercolors showing through I've got the stamped vellum over the top I wanted the notebook style edging at the top and I've also stuck the two journal cards on the bottom there. I'm just going to add my photo. This is going here. I've got these Amy Tangerine black paper clips. These came in the classified kit. I absolutely love these. Uh, oh, they're mega clips. Look at those. These are better than I thought. I don't know. I was going to do, and I'm still quite keen on actually handwriting. I'm going to, I like the idea of that, but I want something. I wanted to do the word love. I'm going to try it by hand and see how it is. This is very much a trial and, oh, that wasn't stuck on very well. A trial and error page, isn't it? Do you know what? I'm going to stick the vellum on. I forgot it wasn't stuck down. I'm going to attach it with a paper, um, with staple, stapler. That didn't work very well. That's better. Right, so that's attached with the staple. And now to write the word love. So if you haven't seen me do this before, 
I literally write the word and then I keep going over with pencil to build on those layers. I've got something bumpy under here. And then I will go over with black pen and cut it out. So I just keep going over and then you can start to colour in and you really start to get the shape of the letters then. I really enjoy this, it's so therapeutic. And you can also then start to add bits to the letters. There's a bit of a wood grain under here, I didn't realise that. And I really recommend when you are scrapbooking or doing creative journaling or anything like that, to take time out to actually enjoy what you're doing as well and actually enjoy experimenting and playing as much as it's lovely and good to get your stories down and your documenting it's a creative process as well at the same time and you want to enjoy it and it shouldn't just be slapdash it's done um, I love doing this kind of thing right I'm gonna get the black pen out next I'm going for quite a thick one this is a number eight and I'm gonna literally go over the top but also colour them in so it looks a bold black. So this is the finished layout with the title in place. I've added some alphabet stickers and I've printed off my journaling onto A4 white cardstock and cut it down into strips and placed within those stamped circles. I'm really pleased with how this has turned out. I love the watercolour background. I'm really happy with the stamping and I'm happy that I've documented these happy memories as well. It's just worth remembering that when you're scrapbooking to enjoy yourself as well. Don't get hung up on making mistakes as you saw here. Things didn't always go quite to plan but that's fine because I had fun experimenting and playing with my paints and the stamps and that's what it's all about as well. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please give me a thumbs up if you've had, if you have, and um, let me know. Have you made any mistakes? Um, have you kind of played with things and messed things up? Have you ever spilt a whole drink or anything over your papers? And oh, I, that would be awful, wouldn't it? But let me know what mistakes you've made, and please subscribe if you don't already. I've got lots more creative videos coming very soon. Thank you very much. I'll see you soon. Bye.